Well guys, welcome back. So today's plan is to head out to Howgill Lodge campsite, which I shall be doing a campsite review on when we get there. Right guys, so we're all packed. Well, thought we was packed, but we forgot the water bottles. So we just need back to get the water bottles. <laughs> anyway, uh, first things first is to go and get a parcel because I have got a new present, woohoo. And then that is the 10 litre Ridge Monkey. I've got my new parcel. and tried to set the poncho up but I haven't got any of them small solid pegs with me so we bin that off so we've got a bench anyway got the fire pit out ready so we're gonna have the fire on later hopefully as long as this weather holds out because it is gonna hammer it down look at these skies with the view oh man that's stunning that in it anyway Gonna have a little walk around the campsite now. Let's see what we've got to offer. So first things first, we've got some alpacas, literally right next to the van, look. There's the old girl, just in that tree. I mean, she's not climbing trees, not back in there. Oh no, got dramas. The alpacas shrunk. Someone been feeding the alpacas. Where have they gone? Someone barbecue with them. Oh, there they are, look. Not stupid like us two out in the rain. Got a little den. Mr. Alpaca. Are you coming out to play? Oh no. Apparently it's not Mr. Alpaca. We've got a Dorothy, the cheeky one. Andre is it? <laughs> the fluffy one. And Ethel, the naughty one. That'd be me that. Ethel. Ethel! What are you doing? You into Mr. Mischief again? Ethel! Here yeah, Ethel! Oh this is an ace idea. Look, got a football pitch. With kids to play on. 
two goals as well so this part here is where you come to pitch your tent up on the electrics the electric point down there nice 10 meter cable miles long enough with your picnic benches and you've got an amazing view as well look at that in the background absolutely gorgeous isn't it That looks a lovely dog walk area. Just going through the woodland there, down to the bottom, and you've got the stream, which also takes you into the back countryside view that we showed you earlier, which looks really good. Just going into the middle of nowhere, I suppose. Enjoy the freedom. <laughs> Coming on nicely. Banging these. Got some new candles, these look really good. Can't wait till it gets dark. I'm just playing around with me uh, new candles. And you can make them brighter and dimmer. Which is pretty cool. Apparently you've got a, a, like a light mode function on. But I can't get it to work. New technology. Anyway, I'll leave a link in the description if anybody was interested. I think there's about £30 from Amazon for the free. And hashtag not sponsored for the candles. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Bought them with my own money. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit. I'm chilling out with my beer. Right, from checking in, we've got some easy campsite rules to follow, which was be quiet basically after half past ten, a number to call if you had any problems, there's fire pits to hire, no open fires, there's some walks around which they even provide you with some routes as you check in. So after checking in, you've got the shop, which sells basic essentials, chocolate and your condiments. There's got a dishwash area, which was really posh. Nice hot water and cleaning kit provided. There's plenty of fire extinguishers around, along with some buckets of sand to throw on the fire if that ever happens. You've got plenty of water dotted around and the shower and sink facilities were really clean. Just pushed a button and job done. They stayed on for about 30 seconds. So the big question is, would I stay again? Yes, I would. It gets a massive thumbs up from me. We'll be back again. Right, good morning, guys. Time for the shower. Let's see if these are really good then. So you don't need to pay anything extra here for a shower. Just jump in. And do your stuff. <laughs> right. Just see you after the shower then. That's a good shower, that bit. Impressed with that. Nice and warm. So hopefully today's plan is to pop to Bringham Rocks National Trust. Because we didn't really get time yesterday when we set off. By the time we popped shopping and everything. So I didn't want to be like rushed around when I got there. Uh, wait for Sam to get up now and I shall see you guys in a bit see you bye alright so we're all sorted out now we're going to hopefully get to the brownies barn which is just round the corner from here about a minute drive literally past it on the way in so it'd be rude not to have a visit and then we're going on to bring them rocks so we shall see you guys down at the brownie shop oh, 
Uh, so we just left Love Brownies, which was really nice in there. Prices weren't too bad really for the quality of the food. Everyone was coming out saying how nice it was and how everyone's enjoyed the food in there. It's not something I do go every day, obviously, the treat anyway. Um, so we're on our way now to Bringham Rocks. It's come up a lovely countryside road. Seen a nice bird of prey, which was the kite, red tail kite. So there'll be spots for plenty of bird spotties as well out there in the old countryside road if people are into the bird spotting, which is good. So we're about 20 minutes away now, half an hour from the campsite if you were to stay there tonight. So we shall see you up at Brigham Car Park. I recommend having a little pop anyway. Uh, they've got a cafe shop which is in the middle that sells some small bits of snacky foods and obviously tea and biscuits and things. And that was pretty much it, really. Oh, I did a, the walk, I recorded the walk, and that took just short of two miles. And we've been here about two hours, and we haven't explored all the rocks everywhere. I mean, there's paths going everywhere. So, well, I recommend you could spend at least a whole morning or an afternoon, you know, whenever you come. <laughs> so I'm going to end the video here now and head back on home. So I'd like to say thanks for watching and thanks to the subscribers already subscribed. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe if you're new to the video and shall see you later. Thank you. Bye.